I'm Christina. I am a registered psychotherapist, certified IPT therapist, and validated clinical supervisor from Ontario, Canada. I have been uh, treating ADHD in adults, families, kids, couples uh, for almost a decade now and launched the first ADHD online course uh, back in 2016 for parents and teachers and people who were in the first year of diagnosis. I started talking about ADHD adapted psychotherapy way back then and have been so thrilled to see so many people come on board and therapists to learn what that really means. So I'm very interested in helping people who are interested in doing it differently to have really meaningful change, to experience that transformational shift that changes the trajectory of people's lives, and therapists who are interested in uh, understanding what a really truly neurodivergent affirming lens means and what it does for them. And I'm so lucky to work alongside my colleague here, John, who will introduce himself. Thank you. Um, so I started out as a solution-focused coach about uh, about 13 years ago, and what was happening with the couples that I was working with is that they were coming with the neurodiversities that I really wasn't aware of at the time. Interestingly, though, I had been ADHD diagnosed when I was seven years old, but I forgot all about that, which is kind of like an ADHD thing in the first place. But either way, um, moved into emotion-focused uh, therapy, uh, psychodynamically trained, and started to get really interested in actually blending coaching and psychotherapy with the lens of ADHD. And that's the key thing is that being able to, as a therapist and a coach, be able to change gears as we're going along. So there's some of the time that we're going to be focusing on solutions, sometimes going to be based on emotions, but in the end, there's going to be this little piece like ADHD that gets sprinkled in there that makes things way more potent. And to have that lens, to be able to pick it out. So in other words, you're, you're in the clinic and you're watching the couple and you'll see pieces coming in. And you know, this is something that might be different than their blueprint, attachment history, PTSD, or just their relational dynamic. This could be a neurodiversity piece that coming in. So what we get to do is really start to be almost like private investigators to figure things out. And that's what made this so fun is that we start to be able to be in the session, learning what's going on and then working with the couple so that they can understand, oh, that's why it's been extra hard for us. So one of the things that uh, Christina and I did is we put together the DIY for couples last year, which is actually a program. And this is what we're going to have the opportunity of sharing with all of you. And it's going to be a, a, an awesome tool to put into your uh, into your toolbox so that uh, when you're faced with that situation where something's not adding up, um, it actually may be ADHD. And then you actually have way more confidence to be able to work with the couple. The reason why we want to actually present this topic is that typically when we're working with couples, we have a lens around attachment history and understanding what the couple's blueprint is in terms of each individual and then figuring out how it actually it, it meshes or, or doesn't enmesh or enmeshes together. And the one thing that we look at then is, well, is it just attachment history? Or is there experiences of childhood trauma, so there's PTSD that's coming through? Um, is there a piece around relational dynamic in present day where they just keep getting stuck? And so when we look at those two lenses, there's a lot that can be done, but often couples will get to a point where they get stuck again, even in the therapy. And this is where the ADHD piece comes in. It becomes a third lens. So in the end, what we're looking at is the neurobiological, the attachment, and also the relational dynamic. And putting all those three together really makes it powerful you to make change based on what's actually happening in the clinic and being able to help the couple understand this so they can actually move forward. This program allows existing couples therapists to use whatever their modality of choice is to be able to adequately identify the neurobiological symptoms uh, that are occurring in the couple, in the couple dynamic, identify specific neurotypes, to be able to understand how to adapt the framework that they're using to meet the needs of the couple sitting in front of them on the couch, to integrate what they already know with some new knowledge that allows them to coordinate the therapeutic framework that they're already comfortable with, with evidence-based, scientifically driven, clinically informed strategies and tactics 
So they can help a couple, you can really customize and tailor the treatment that you're providing to help the couple find success, both quick wins and long-term gains that will sustain the relationship and likely the family unit and support healthy attachment and corrective emotional experiences moving forward. Christina and I are excited to have you join us for this program. So save the date. It's Monday, April 8th from 1 p.m. Eastern Time to 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Feel free to share this on your social media, and we're really looking forward to seeing you there. See you soon.